Yo, what's up everyone? Um, just got done with, I think, my 13th class for my first month of BJJ and still pretty tired, but just wanted to make a video kind of for my own thoughts, but also for anyone out there that was thinking about giving uh, BJJ a shot, which I highly recommend. I'm for sure obsessed about it. But yeah, I just... Uh, this video has no plot to it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to rant and hope uh, some of you guys enjoy this. But yeah, I just wanted to do BJJ for years and finally gave it a shot. Um, the idea of the uh, warrior poet has always appealed to me. I've been doing years of strength training and that's always been awesome. But I had this huge gap about I have no idea what to do at all. Zero percent if I was ever to get in a fight at a bar or anything like that or get in some kind of weird situation would... I mean, just totally zero skill. So I just thought that was a weird gap and I wanted to fill it. Finally, I gave it a go and it's awesome. Uh, like I said, this was my 12th class. I went about three times a week. But some of the uh, worries I had when I first started um, seems like excuses, but just maybe anyone out there felt, feels the same. But <laughs> one of the funniest things is I'm very blind and I have gla gla glasses, obviously, and I was thinking... How can I roll? You know, I don't want to break my glasses and I don't want to get contacts. That is not a big deal at all. Who cares about that? When you do learn a move, you just take your glasses off. Zero big deal because a person's going to be right in front of you. So even if you're blind AF like me, that is a non-concern. You just take your glasses off. Everyone's cool. It's not some intense vibe. I mean, it's intense, but it's very casual just to take your glasses off. So that whole idea that I had, which in a way kept me for a while was a complete non-issue. Um, you just take your glasses off and it do doesn't, you don't lose any skill, you completely uh, understand the movements. It's almost in some way maybe better because you can feel. But uh, anyway, so that's not a concern. Um, the biggest thing that was funniest after my first class was, man, I felt like I was back in middle school for sure. In m middle school, I was crazy, crazy shy. I had, you know, like one friend. And coming into this environment completely forward, never been in anything like it in my life, where there's a mat, everyone's on their knees, you put this gi on, I wasn't even sure how to put a gi on. You have these pants, pants you've never seen before with a big tie thing. I mean, just the whole getup, I didn't know how to put a belt on. Everything was extremely foreign. I walk into this place, everyone's just making jokes, almost, you know, like, sort of like there's clicks, and then I just come in like, hi guys, I'm the new student, look at me. And, you know, I just kind of sit in the corner of the mat and I felt so small at that moment. Like I said, just like I was back in sixth grade, a new kid in school, sitting there, not saying anything. And I remember thinking, wow, what a bizarre thing here that my mind just slipped into like a childhood mode. You know, I'm a grown man. And here I am, um, so shy in the corner, hesitant to make eye contact, scared to, hi, my name's El Elvin, nice to meet you. And I remember being very struck by that. And I think that, and it's, in, in a way, I still feel a bit shy each class, except as soon as the class is over, I feel amazing. Like 200%, I'm so happy I went. It's, you're like on a cloud nine. Like even right now, I'm so pumped I went. And I'm still sweating. Even had my first bloody nose. So I popped that uh, cherry. But I would say to anyone out there that is, has lots of uh, social anxiety or finds himself introverted, you might get a bit, I would say that I like I could see how that could turn off someone because you're put into a scenario you've ne never been in around other people that have been rolling, you know, sometimes for years and years, way high, higher skill levels, you show when you know 0%, less than nothing. And I could see how that could cause lots of uh, stress or anxiety. But I think you just knowing that will help because that kind of came from left field for me. I wasn't expecting to feel so out of, I don't know, out of the world or I haven't felt like that since middle school in a way. It was strange. But that also anticipates as soon as the class starts. You have the black belt guy. He teaches you a few moves. First move I learned, funny enough, with this thing called the bow and arrow, which is an insane move to learn. I had no idea what I was doing. But pretty much what happens, everyone that you have the perception that everyone's in a click and everyone kind of hates you, completely not true. The teacher starts, he shows, shows you a move a few times, and then you just grab a partner. And this is where it felt like school a bit. You know, when you have to like find a partner and you go, oh my God, who who's going to pick me? Who's going to choose me? And you go, Hi, do you, do you want to be my partner? Uh, 
and you know that that was there a bit but you just find a partner everyone is completely cool that you don't know anything because they also learn by them having to teach you they learn also by just the process of having to explain so they actually uh like it was a non-issue the fir first guy i rolled with i guess he was an ex-con but he was a complete sweetheart very helpful very supportive and i felt this sort of shame of I don't want to waste his time because this guy's a blue belt, which is a much higher ranking than me. Um, and I was like, am I just going to waste this guy's time? Like, oh my God, why am I stuck with this dude? He doesn't even know what, he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know what to do with his body. He doesn't know. And, but it, it wasn't that at all. He just would show me slowly through the movements. Everyone was super supportive. Um, so it, since the experience has been great, I'm just trying to think of concerns that, because I've had all of these can, you know, I've been wanting to do jujitsu for years, watching, you know, Jaco podcasts or various podcasts and just all those kind of things, uh, lots of MMA um, interviews. And I know it's a great skill and I've always been very into the warrior poet concept. And, you know, lots of my favorite f movies like Kingdom of Heaven and Braveheart, Gladiator, Last Samurai, you know, they all deal with this con. Like, I've always loved this uh, idea of the uh, hero male um, so it feels like a great gap to fill and it's extremely rewarding, but I'm trying to think of other, like I said, this is a rant, dude. I have no idea what I'm even saying, not planned out, but, um, for anyone that wants to start, I'd say what you can expect from class is you go into class, they just teach you a random move. No one cares that you're brand new. They just pick up right as they would if you've been there for a hundred years. They go, okay, here's a new move we're teaching. There's no introduction hi he's new here's what you do with your foot here's what you do with your arm here's how you tie a belt you just dive right into the deep end they show you a move um the te teacher will show you a move then everyone just drills it for a bit and he shows you like a next step to the move you drill it for a bit and then maybe a the fi final step to a move so then by the end and then you kind of link the chain so it'll start with like here's the approach here's how you grab and like a arm, arm lock and now here's how you do the submission and you just go through that process. It seems to be a rough, roughly for me, there's like three steps. And then at the end, you kind of combine it all and you'll leave some minutes at the end to roll, which is where you actually, you know, fight, which I haven't done that officially the first month. I just wanted to get comfortable with myself. That's my goal next month is to actually start to roll. Um, but yeah, the anxiety, I mean, I'd say the b biggest thing that could turn people off from it is you know, fear of pain, but the pain's fine. Um, I got my first bloody nose just uh, about 30 minutes ago. We were doing some arm lock leg sweeps. And the guy who, the cool thing is this, this is a sheriff here. And he's been a sheriff for like 30 years. And completely awesome guy. He explains things so well. And it's just kind of fun to scrap with a guy that's like, I would be scared of you usually. Like, please don't arrest me. But here it's in such a supportive uh, context. And he just did a thing where he just swept his leg across really hard against my face. So I would say those are the injuries I've got. So I had a bloody nose. I've had some times where my throat's hurt like crazy because of these uh, chokeholds we do, like uh, Ezekiel's or other things. Even the class today, we do intense chokeholds. So sometimes my throat will hurt for, you know, half a day. I've had unbelievable, like, well, not unbelievable, a bunch of bruises on my arms from locks and scratches around, but... You know, it's just pain. It's not the big that big of a deal. And, you know, blood is just blood. You know, it stops. So, you know, it's gone. What's that line from uh, Predator? Uh, I ain't got time to bleed. So I would say the pain stuff is actually kind of awesome in a way. Um, and you just tap and everyone is super supportive. I would just stress what's been the most helpful is knowing everyone there is there to learn. There's no judgment. It's a completely awesome camaraderie environment. Everyone that's at a higher rank or a lower rank, they're all there to learn. There's really no ego. Everyone is supportive. If something hurts, you tap. Everyone is the whole time, hey, is it okay? Oh, are you okay? Okay, can I do that? And for me, it's been helpful to make sure I don't come in with an ego. You know, I go, I'm a big, strong guy. I deadlift over 400 pounds. I can squat uh, 365 at least. I can bench like 315 too. <laughs> but that stuff... Like, I thought strength would maybe be a help, which it might be down the road, but right now it is completely irrelevant. I'd say I got my ass kicked the most by this girl that was maybe 120 at the most, just ruined me. <laughs> uh, which was a good experience. So much pain, but uh, but then I learned, too, that was a really fun class. Um, <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought here, so... 
I would just say the first month has been amazing. I also have missed out on my life in a way, the feeling of bonding with a group. Things that I've pursued, like I'm a classical pianist, so that is a solo pursuit primarily. I didn't have the experience of being in a symphony ensemble. So, you know, when I practice piano, I'm isolated. I play recitals alone, I practice alone. And then I love to strength train, and that's also an uh, isolated profession. Mostly, I don't have a lit lifting partner. I go for myself. Um, so the things that I really love to pursue have all been solitary. I also love to read. I don't know, you can probably tell. So it's been nice to actually get in a thing where you have a brotherhood. Brotherhood broadly, like there's gr gr girls there too, but... And it's just, uh, there's something really uh, primal about it, something I didn't realize I'm missed as much as I, th it's like I thought there was a gap, but I didn't realize it feels so right to do something like a, just to get back into the primal ape state and do something violent, you know, I mean, it's violent as a combat sport, but just to grapple and wrestle and use your whole body and just to sweat and get in these crazy positions and just struggling and to some extent suffering with others and you're just being put in all these wild positions, and it just, uh, I feel like it taps into something where I get this joy afterwards. Maybe, you know, some of it's just in dwarfing rush, and I get so tired. It's like dri dripping sweat, my clothes were like stuck to my body. Um, so it's obviously great for cardio. I think maybe I lost like five pounds in a month, but I didn't realize how much I needed that uh, raw connection, and it's been very nice to feel that in, even though, you know, like there's some guys and girls I've rolled with a, with a few times and I don't actually know their names still and they don't know mine, but it's kind of like whatever. Uh, you get a good bond um, just through that process because you're getting very, very intimate with someone and sometimes you can feel exposed because someone's sitting on you like girl on top position or you're kind of in missionary positions or not really. It just, you know, like I completely see why people would feel odd because your entire bodies are interlocked and woven and it can seem, if you're very shy at the beginning anyway, this can maybe even exacerbate it, or that's what I would think. And I felt shy the first class because, you know, like you get a grown man grabbing your legs and twisting you around and sliding you, and he'll say stuff like, press your dick into my back. And I go, okay, but then you get it because you're in a hold, and he's thinking if you push your hips into it, it secures it. So it all, you know, you'll have funny things like that. Uh, you know, like... Phew, but it all goes to, like, it's, it doesn't feel like, there's no weird, like, sexual anything. Because you're just trying to learn this beautiful art of how to hurt people. The beautiful art of hurting people. So any of that worries are gone. I, it really doesn't even uh, cross my mind at, at all anymore. Um, but it's been a really ama amazing experience. There's people of all ages. The guy I roll with today, like, almost a retired sheriff, must be in his 60s such a great uh, teacher then you know i roll with people that were in jail guys and girls you know 20s there's even you know there's kids there in their teens all the way to yeah six year old people different walks of life it doesn't matter you know none of that matters when you're being choked you know <laughs> kind of what i also like with stuff like uh, strength training too is i think uh, ct fletcher had a quote of we're all the same under the bar he was like, we're all the same under a chokehold or arm lock or kamur. But I would also say I came in with completely 0%, no wrestling experience, no nothing, completely pacifist, 0% knowledge. And f within a month, I feel like I've grown exponentially in my skill set, but it's still, I know nothing. So I went from 0% to now knowing point zero 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 one percent but it's been crazy, like, being able to understand my hips and legs and doing forward rolls and what it feels like to, I mean, you know, be put, put your body in these shapes that you never, never would ever subject yourself to in daily, day, day to day life. Day, day to day life, you're just sitting, walking, standing. You're never doing, wrap your knee around, wrap your leg around his head, twist around, little roll, and you get into all of these positions and now I think that's almost the big, biggest thing I got this first time around is I'm starting to get comfortable with my body and seeing wow my body can do things I didn't know it could do like I'm not used to having to think about 
the connection of hips and legs to arms and but obviously one one of the biggest other things is breathing uh everyone says hey man chill out breathe 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 and i go <sighs> you know you're putting these pretty intense uh like fight or flight responses where like you have like a 220 pound guy putting pressure against your ribs you go <gasps> And you go, no, 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 chill it, chill it. You're not going to die. And then, <sighs> and that's still something that I'll pr probably be having to practice for years. Um, for I mean, but this, I think this is going to be a life pursuit. I, I'm just hooked on it. I would recommend it to ev everyone. It's, if you're like into peace or you're a pacifist, these kind of things, which is obviously, which is great. But the idea that it's a violent combat sport shouldn't put you off. It's, a really beautiful experience. Yes, there's pain, um, but it's so rewarding. It's just completely great knowledge unlock, like skill set that, like I said, it tapped into some epic roots. And I'm sure so much of us are seeking some something beyond the norm, some other like goal with our lives outside of the normal routine of modern existence. And it's just nice to tap into something like this. Um, and it's a good balance for me. I like the yin and yang of me playing Bach and uh, Chopin and having to teach kids music, which I love. And this just this beautiful artistic side or playing music with my band. And then I get the brute side where I get this martial art and then strength training. And I feel pretty uh, well balanced with it. But I would just, <laughs> this is like I said, a complete rant. I don't even know what, it's been going for 16 minutes. I don't know what I said. I'm sure there's stuff I missed that I wanted to bring up. But I would, as a funny, yeah, I don't know. I would recommend uh, everyone do it. And yeah, just, I think gra gratitude helps. Like I know I don't know anything. And for me to be very thankful towards everyone that's giving me their time to roll with them and slow things down and explain things to me, I think that goes a long way. Because I want, want to develop a good rapport and not um, come in with any of this uh, e ego. So, but this is a, it's a re really great thing. I've really loved my first month and I can't wait for the following months. And maybe I'll do one more of these videos um, for my second month and when I start to actually roll. So whoever whoever's watching this, thanks. I hope this made some kind of sense and give it a shot and peace out guys. Cheers.